Hello, it's Sarah, and I wanted to come on real quick. I've been busy. I've been working on stained glass, and I know it's not your favorite, probably, topic of mine, but anywho, I'm enjoying it. I'm rediscovering it and bringing in the craftiness to it. You know, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm also designing my own designs, which is very exciting. So, um, I wanted to do a little project share. This was the houses that I did for you guys that I was going to give to Fran. And I've been playing around and uh, Fran's colors, let me just bring this into the picture. This little castles, these castles that I did, um, I need to get some polish. I ran out of polish, but this isn't this is Fran's colors. It's kind of like a purple and a bluish tealy, I don't know if teal aqua or something, anywho. Um, so this is what her colors are. So I made this after this, and I'm thinking I'm going to keep this, but I've added, see how I'm adding the little, this is um, the tinned copper wire, and this is a 20 gauge wire, and I just twist it with my fingers. I use my, oh, well, maybe my round nose pliers. And I, I put love and home and a heart over here. And uh, that's my Salamoniac block that just fell. Um, a little butterfly. Like I've just, I twisted the wire into kind of like a butterfly. And I put these little shapes. This is what I've been putting on my castle. So see the castle has that little shape there and I don't know if I shared this one I did a smaller like a three um, house castle but then I made a bigger one and then I'm even gonna go bigger I'm gonna I'm probably gonna go get more um, glass tomorrow cuz I kinda um, we'll see but this was the houses that I did and then oh, so I just said that so I just added these silver accents these little um, squiggles here and this little uh, kind of like a bush over here. Can you guys see that? I don't know, I'll go in a little. So see it says home. Let's see, this is the little trim on the roof. Love. And then this is the, like a, just a flourish almost looking thing. And a butterfly another roof a heart which I just thought it fit perfect there because this side was short and that was long and I don't know and then I just did the double doors with this swirl so anywho I love it and I patinaed this one with the it's it's really it's called pewter I think but it's kind of like a black um, but I decided not to patina the wire once I put the wire on there I kept that the natural color. Anywho, so I'm very happy with that. And like I said, I think I'm probably going to keep that because I'm thinking I'm going to redo something for Fran along these lines with these colors um, in more of a castle. So very similar to this, but much bigger. Now look how big this is. Well, can you? Hopefully I'm not. Now I'm all zoomed in. There. So this is what I'm going to make. And I just have to make sure I have enough because I think, I don't think I have this blue in big enough pieces because this I use scraps. I'm trying to go through my scraps and use them up. So uh, I got to get some polish though. Um, so I want to redo this in a bigger size. And I have a door here. Um, I have lots of spaces, and I'm even debating using some uh, of these. Look, I'll show you. Um, so I'll show you the next piece. So then I made this, and I ha I think I'm gonna um, patina this with the black too. Uh, but see all the it's like the cobblestoney look of those gems, right? So this has just been sitting in a stand because I couldn't really attach I guess I could attach a hanger here and here yeah that would probably be good or you could do it diagonally like I think I like it on the diagonal 
Um, anywho, I was thinking I could design that castle to have some places that are like, you know, maybe put them in here or here. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, so we'll see where it goes because because I'm designing my own designs, I'm starting to tweak things and change them. So it just because I made it like this one time doesn't mean it's going to stay like this. So this was one. I was just playing around with that freeform style. And I see all this stuff on Pinterest, you guys. I was never into Pinterest. And, you know, if I'm looking for a stained glass idea, now I just go to Pinterest and I put in stained glass freeform or something and like it's it's endless what you what you'll find on there so I did this one and then this is totally based on a Pinterest design I saw this little guy this little cat and it's not exactly like the one I saw on Pinterest I changed it I think um there was a couple things I changed and I can't remember what it is and then I changed it even more I'll show you I did a whole cat um, and I think I want to patina this in the black too so I have a couple that I didn't patina yet but um, I'm not sure sometimes I think I like to leave it silver but see his eyes I put little I just painted them with black paint isn't that cool but this is Fran's colors too so this is Fran's color. So I, I was just going to do this and give her both, oh, and I'm zoomed in again, and give her both of these. But then I started thinking I could do a whole cat. So I have, I'm going to do a big cat in these colors and a big castle in these colors. And here's my big cat. But I had a lot of orange. See, he's even too big to get in the shot. So we'll start at his feet. I have four little feet down here. Um, and he's very geometric. Kind of almost look like a robot cat. And he has green eyes. And then I did, I'll zoom in, but I love this orange. I just had a, I had two big sheets of orange. This one and this one. And then this was kind of like a peachy color, which it doesn't look as peach as it did downstairs and um, I just figured I'd make an orange cat while I was playing with it and I think he turned out super cool um, so let me zoom in but yeah I put a little heart right here and I think I would change it so see this is what I mean about I'm gonna show you the difference so this was the first let me try to zoom in here this was the first one and I put the whiskers on here um, I think I took away on the second one, I took away one of the, uh, yeah. So see, this one just has, from below the nose is the same. And then I didn't put this one on this face, and I just have above the eyes. So this one, the eyes are sitting more on the cheeks. I don't know. I like them both. But I do think this one looks a little angry. I think I want to make the mouth smaller next time, definitely. And I think I like the curved eyes much better. It gives that cat eye impression more, you know. So I would tweak him a little bit when I do it, when I do Franz. And I, it's my pattern, so I'll just draw it and re, you know, reconfigure it. I put little, um curly cute eyebrows on him <laughs> it looks kind of strange but and these little um, whiskers are um, I bent the wire and did them and then there's the heart on his belly I'm loving adding that wire um, element to the stuff and I do think I would like his ears taller like I really like the tall ears maybe even a little more triangular in shape next time so we'll say I mean I don't hate him he's got green eyes little pink nose he's super cute but um, and I did I patinaed him with the copper patina so I've been 
a busy bee um, for the past two days, I guess, doing this. And I need to catch up on my Wonderlust classes, and I'm excited to do that. It's just that, you know, I saw Pinterest, and then I just get started. Um, I start, I just, I love this um, graph paper. It's so easy especially when you do a straight line even doing the cat like here let me see if i can find see here's the little castle this is the big castle see here's the cat so see even when i was designing it on here you know you can kind of figure out how how wide you want something and all that stuff you know um so yeah, I think I would use this next time. Maybe just make these a little smaller. Instead of having it so wide, I think I'd bring it down a little and use this. I like the smaller mouth on this design. So I'm going to definitely keep playing around with it. Um, and the taller ears. I really like the taller ears. But he's cute. I like him. He's an orange cat. There's like a little bubble in the glass right there. I didn't notice that when I was doing it, but then he's cute. All right, so what else did I want to tell you? That's pretty much it. Um, everything's good. I just, you know, I know this isn't the most exciting for you guys because, you know, it's not clay or, you know, but I found in my, this is an old love I've always had. A love of stained glass and um, you know I just feel like I I need to revisit it and I have all the supplies and they're down there so it might not be that exciting for you guys but guess what maybe some of this stuff will go in my Etsy store and uh, you can you can share with me that way maybe <laughs> all right all right you guys that's it thanks for watching